This is Weekend Update. What's this I hear about science friction? I love science. What do you get when you rub two oranges together? Pulp friction. <laughs> what shoes have the least friction? Slippers. <laughs> what no, do you... No, no, Miss Catella. Science fiction, not friction. Oh, that's different. Never mind. We're here to introduce Fur Trek, Tribble Troubles. Our science fiction adventure spoofing the original Star Trek. Then let's see it. Space, the final frontier. This is the voyage of the fur ship Kitty Prize. Its mission, to boldly go where no cat has gone before. This is Captain James T. Perk of the UFS Kitty Prize. We are responding to a distress signal coming from the planet's surface. We are coming in on course, sir. Bring her in slowly, Mr. Shulu. Shields are up. Photon torpedoes ready. Sir, I'm receiving a message from an Ambassador Barker. Put him on screen, Lieutenant Upura. Aye, Captain. Greetings. I am Barker, Ambassador of the Tribalonians. This is Captain James Perk. What is the nature of your emergency? I'd prefer to discuss the matter directly. I will beam down with a landing party. Klingoffs on the starboard bow, Captain. Open a hailing frequency, Lieutenant Upura. Aye, Captain. This is Captain James T. Perk. Who am I addressing? Commander Wolf. Please state your intention. Requesting shore leave. Captain, I remind you of the Ordanian Treaty. Klingoffs are allowed an equal number of crew to our Federation for shore leave. Noted, Mr. Spot. What is your answer? I will contact Ambassador Barker and reply to you in 24 hours. Perk out. Maintain orbit. Mr. Spot, join us on the landing party. Aye, Captain. All secure. Mr. Shulu, you have the helm. Ensign, check me out. You're beaming down too. Aye, Captain. Fishbones, meet me in the transporter room. We're beaming down. I'll be right there, Jim. We're all set. Beam us down, Skitty. Aye, Captain. Good luck. The Ambassador's residence is just up ahead. I'll patrol the perimeter. Fascinating. Extremely arid climate. But not as hot as your planet, Volcat. Right, Spot? Indeed. Things seem calm enough. Welcome, gentlemen. Please come in. I'm curious to know what the emergency is. Let me explain. Tribiani was almost destroyed by PAD. Planetary and atmospheric deterioration. These devices, known as reparators, saved us. How exactly? Grain, our primary food source, could no longer grow on our planet. We were literally starving to death. Even the Tribbles almost became extinct. Tribbles? The indigenous creatures of our planet. How did the devices help? Each reparator is programmed to control the weather patterns in our atmosphere, so we were able to reverse the effect of PAD. And you could grow food again? Yes. Then our scientists created a high-yield super grain known as Quadro Kitikeli. It grows extremely fast, and now we have an overabundance. Enough to feed your village. And the entire planet. That sounds impossible. True, but that's precisely what we're doing. The surplus is stored in those secured compartments behind you. And all because of these small machines. Correct. But we have just one problem. The Klingoffs. I believe they want to steal our first cargo of grain, which is scheduled to be shipped in two days. Can you help protect the Quadro Kitikeli until our pilot can make his delivery? We will direct a force field around the building. 
give us your permission to arrange shore leave with the Klingoffs, and we'll keep an eye on them. Make it happen. What do you make of these boxes, Mr. Spot? It's litter, Jim, but not as we know it. What? For the Tribbles. Litter? Hmm. Perk to transporter. Skitty, beam us up. Welcome back. Thanks, Skitty. Are we authorized for shore leave? You can beam down 12 crewmen at a time. We'll do the same. Acknowledged. Wolf out. Commander, our soldiers are beaming down now. Get me that grain delivery information. Aye, Commander. Soon, we will be rich. Captain's Log, Fur Date 2353. The crew of the UFS Kitty Prize is about to embark on shore leave on planet Tribbiani. It is imperative that we protect the inhabitants' life saving grain, Quadro Kitty Kaylee. Skitty, I see you're studying technical manuals again. Boy, am I ready for shore leave. You really need to relax and do something fun. I am relaxed. I love reading manuals. I'm talking about shore leave. Ah, uh, Jim, I don't know. I'd rather stay here. I need an experienced officer to keep everyone out of trouble. Oh, all right. But I cannot guarantee anything. You and Clang distract them while I find out when the grain ships. Acknowledged, Klutz. Might I interest you in a lovable pet tribble? Are they intelligent? Quite so. They're adorable. I hear Captain Perk is a furball. Hey! What are you calling? Easy now, laddie. Forget it. Yeah. Captain Perk is a flea-bitten stray. He just dishonored the captain. We're big enough to take a few insults. And the kitty prize hauls garbage. Oh, I'm sorry. That hunk of junk ship is garbage. Gonna regret that! Quick! Set your fuzzers to sun! I'll distract them! Burn! Got him! They're all asleep. Can we return to the ship now, boys? They've multiplied. I know. How long have you had that thing, Lieutenant? Since yesterday, Doctor. This morning I found out that he, I mean she, had had babies. Are you running a nursery, Lieutenant? I hadn't intended to, sir, but the Tribble had other plans. A most curious creature, Captain. Its trilling seems to have a tranquilizing effect on the nervous system, which, of course, I am totally immune to. <laughs> the grain delivery ship launches at 0700 hours. Are you ready? Aye, Aye Commander. Commander. That old rust bucket will be easy to hijack once we're out of range of the Kitty Prize's tractor beams. Then we steal the grain and sell it to the highest bidder. There's a Tribble in my coffee. Fascinating. I want these things off the ship. Aye, they're into the machinery and all the food processors too. How? Probably through the air vents. Captain, there are vents of that type on Tribbiani. And in the storage compartments? Come on, Spot, we're beaming down. Aye, Captain. Mind if I open the storage bin, Ambassador? Go right ahead. I have a bad feeling about this. Curious. The 
they seem to be gorged. Gorged? On my grain? There must be thousands of them. Hundreds of thousands. 1,771,561. That's assuming one triple multiplying with an average litter of 10, producing a new generation every 12 hours over three days. Mr. Spot, have Dr. McCat analyze these tribbles? Do you know what you get when you overfeed a triple? A fat triple? No, a pregnant one. What? Are they born pregnant? Almost. They seem to reproduce at will. Is there any way to curb their proliferation? I do have an idea. In ancient times, species were sterilized by spay and neuter surgical procedures. I believe there's an easier solution. Their litter. Litter? How so? My research indicates that a calcium chloride dehydrate additive to their litter can drastically decrease their breeding cycle. We simply adjust our fuzzers to apply the compound directly into the litter to sterilize many of them. Brilliant, Fishbones. I'll notify Ambassador Barker that Mr. Spot and I are beaming down with a landing party to coordinate Operation Alter. Ambassador, I have good news. Dr. McCat has discovered a process to reduce the breeding of the Tribbles, which would prevent the grain supply from being depleted by them. Excellent, Captain. How? Our crew will apply a solution to the Tribbles' litter, which will sterilize many of them. I have always felt strongly that one's pet Tribble should be spayed or neutered. Captain, the grain has now regenerated into a surplus, so we can deliver as planned. But how can you accomplish that with just one ship? I want to show you something, Captain Perk. Follow me. Our planet is not necessarily what it appears to be, Captain. This is our hidden world. The real Tribbiani. The Klingoffs are in pursuit, Ambassador. What do we do? The Captain's scheme is working. The Klingoffs are in for a surprise. It's all going according to plan, Roddy. We're simply a decoy. The Klingoffs will soon realize there is no grain on board. Our fleet will begin the real shipments right after Perk's crew makes their own delivery. Are you all set, Skitty? Affirmative, Mr. Shulu. Commander, the Kitty Prize is leaving the planet's orbit. The Galactic is in range. Lock in Tractor Beam. Aye, Commander. Tractor Beam locked. Hail the Ambassador. Prepare to be boarded. I don't think so, Wolf. Activate! Ambassador, they stopped. Why? That means the Kitty Prize was successful, and our fleet can begin shipping grain across our planet. Sir, where are all the Tribbles? You will have to ask Mr. Shulu. It was Dr. McCat's idea. It was? Fishbones, care to explain? Oh, uh... Mr. Spot thought of it first. Mr. Spot? Captain Perk authorized it. He can tell you. So where are they, Captain? I can't take credit for another cat's work. Skitty did it. I transported them. But where? Not out into space, I hope. I beamed them over to the Klingoff ships. Which is why they suddenly stopped fighting. I transported the whole kit and caboodle, where there'll be no tribble at all. Fascinating. <laughs> Ensign, check me out. Take us out of here at warp speed. Aye, Captain.
This is Bob Barker reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everybody. Birds trekking across the universe. On the bridge of eating bikes under cats and birds. Birds trekking across the universe. On the valley floor where Christmas can find reverse. They came into Paris. Reverse. It's Slitter Jim, but not as we know it, not as we know it, not as we know it. It's Slitter Jim, but not as we know it, not as we know it. Birds trekking across the universe. On the bridge of Kitty Park, under Captain Bird. Birds trekking across the universe. Come and see, spur and sweep, spur and sweep. Kitty, feel me up. <laughs>